Hey you guys, it's Steph. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Before we get started with today's video, I want to make a statement and a little disclaimer. And the statement is that um, because you guys know that I'm just now getting back into this whole video making editing process, um, I'm trying to get used to doing this again and I'm trying out a new software and unfortunately the software doesn't have a lot of capabilities because it's free so it's impossible for me to try to make these videos as fancy and interesting as possible right now I really wish that I could provide you guys with much better videos um, but right now I'm just trying to get used to this software and I'm trying to just put the information together so I can present it to you guys um, but I hope that in the future I can provide you with better stuff. You know, I think all of the YouTuber, YouTubers that start out, um, they don't have the best videos ever when they first start out and they gradually learn as they go. So that's what I'm trying to do for you guys. Um, also, um, what I want to say is that because I edit my videos and I see that as I'm editing, I make a lot of mistakes while recording these videos. Um, you know, if I happen to make a mistake with uh, something I say in English or Spanish or whatever, um, it's not that I don't know most of the time, it's just that, you know, you get nervous standing in front of a camera and having to record for the world to see you, you know, and you're just speaking fast and you're nervous and all these things are coming to your mind. And at least for me, you know, I happen to mess up as I speak and I think that's perfectly natural. And when I edit these videos, I'm not going to go back and try to you know, correct every single little mistake that I made because that's just not worth the time. I'm trying to get these videos out before I get discouraged and I just don't post anything at all. The disclaimer is that um, some of you that know me uh, know that Spanish was my first language as a child but then English became my first language because that's the language I predominantly spoke growing up and I had to relearn Spanish as a teenager slash adult. Um, so my Spanish, thank goodness, has improved a lot in the last five years that I've been here. Um, but now because I know Spanish better and I've taken French classes and Portuguese classes and a little German and a little Italian, you know, there's like a language soup going on in my head. So sometimes I don't know if I'm saying things correctly in one language because I'm, you, we say it in a different way in another language and I'm just like, wait, which way is it? Um, so I'm getting confused now and it's kind of difficult to keep everything where it's supposed to be. Um, and I'm not a Spanish teacher by no means, um, so I had to try to check some of the phrases that I'm about to present you with a cousin of mine that's from here. And you know, if for some reason there are some differences in um, what I tell you in this video and what other people say, just know that uh, in Spanish, Spanish is not all the same in every single Spanish-speaking country. There are different, little, there are little variations here and there with vocabulary. So this is just. Uh, what came to my mind when I thought of how to say this in Spanish and I checked some of them off with a cousin just to make sure they were okay and um, I just hope that the phrases proved to be useful to you. So obviously uh, the first thing that you have to know how to say is excuse me. So in Spanish you can say disculpa or disculpe. I don't really know the difference so if anyone knows the difference if you could explain that to me in the comments below I would appreciate that so much. Um, but you can use either one to say excuse me, to get someone's attention. The second thing that you should know how to say is if Spanish is too difficult, you obviously want to find someone that speaks English, so you can ask the person, habla inglés, usted habla inglés, to be more formal or polite. Um, and once they start talking to you, if they are speaking too quickly, then you can ask them to slow down by saying, puede hablar más despacio? Puede hablar más lento. And if you want to be a little more polite, you can say, Podría hablar más despacio? Podría hablar más lento? And obviously, when you're asking someone to do something for you, you should always say please. And so in Spanish, we say, Por favor. Por favor means please. If you don't understand anything that they're saying to you, then just simply say, No entiendo. That means I don't understand. If you want to ask someone for help, there are a few ways you can say that, and you can say, ¿Me puede ayudar, por favor? Or, ¿Puede ayudarme, por favor? And that basically means, can you help me, please? Or you can also say, ¿Podría ayudarme? Could you help me? So obviously when you get off the plane and you need to go pick up your, your baggage, a way to ask where baggage claim is, is you can say, 
¿Dónde puedo reclamar mi equipaje? Where can I claim my baggage or my luggage? ¿Dónde puedo reclamar mi equipaje? You can also say ¿Dónde está el reclamo de equipaje? ¿Dónde está el reclamo de equipaje? Okay. So once you get to baggage claim and you're over there waiting for your suitcases to come out, if for some reason they don't come out, then you can ask someone that works in the airport and say, Disculpa, excuse me, ¿podría ayudarme? Could you help me? And you can say, no encuentro mi equipaje. Or, no encuentro mis maletas. So, no encuentro mi equipaje means I can't find my luggage or my baggage. And no encuentro mis maletas means I can't find my suitcases. In the event that you do find your luggage and everything's okay, then if you want someone to help you with that, some airport person, personnel, then um, you can ask them by saying, Disculpa, ¿me podría ayudar con mis maletas? Which means, excuse me, can you help me with my suitcases? Or you can say, Disculpa, ¿me podría ayudar con mi equipaje? And that just means, excuse me, could you help me with my baggage or my luggage? Now in case you don't need any help, but you just want to find the little luggage card so you can put your suitcases on there and you don't know where to find them, then you can ask someone and say, um, Disculpa, ¿dónde puedo encontrar los carritos de equipaje? Or you could also say, Disculpa, ¿dónde puedo encontrar las carretillas de equipaje? I would probably say carritos, because carretillas doesn't sound right to me in this case, but you could probably use it in a different country or something. Either way, they'll understand you. Then you have to go through customs and you can just say if you don't know where customs is, although we usually kind of follow the crowd, um, but if you don't know where it is, you can say ¿En dónde está la aduana? Or just simply ¿Dónde está la aduana? And they will direct you to that area. If you need to use the bathroom and you don't know where the bathrooms are, then you can just say uh, Disculpa, ¿Dónde están los baños? Where are the bathrooms? Or you can say, uh, ¿Dónde se encuentran los baños? And that just means the same thing as well. Or you can also say, ¿Hay un baño cerca de aquí? Is there a bathroom near here? So again, that is, ¿Dónde se encuentran los baños? Este, ¿Dónde están los baños? ¿Hay un baño cerca de aquí? So those are three different ways you can ask for the bathrooms. If after getting off your flight, uh, you feel hungry, you don't need to go immediately to your hotel or wherever you're going, and you want to find a place to eat or somewhere to eat, um, then you can ask someone and say, ¿Dónde se encuentra el patio de comida? ¿Dónde se encuentra el patio de comida? And that just means, where is the food court? Or you could probably also ask, ¿Dónde puedo comprar algo para comer? ¿Dónde puedo comprar algo para comer? Where can I buy something to eat? If you need to make a phone call for some reason and you need to find a, a public phone, then you can ask, ¿Dónde están los teléfonos públicos? ¿Dónde están los teléfonos públicos? And you can also say, ¿Dónde, dónde puedo hacer una llamada? ¿Dónde puedo hacer una llamada? And they will direct you to the phones. If you need to rent a car, then you can ask, ¿Dónde se alquilan los carros? Disculpa, ¿Dónde se alquilan los carros? And you can also say, ¿Dónde puedo alquilar un carro? Where can I rent a car? If for some reason you had trouble with your flight and you need to go complain and find the airline's office, then you can ask uh, someone and say, ¿Dónde está la oficina de la aerolínea LAN? Or, ¿Dónde está la oficina de LAN? Or, ¿Dónde está la oficina de la línea aérea LAN? So those are three different ways. If you just need some money for your taxi fare or whatever, um, and you don't know where to exchange your money in the airport, then you can ask someone and say, ¿Dónde puedo cambiar dinero? ¿Dónde puedo cambiar dinero? If you need to take a taxi, then you can just ask someone and say, ¿Dónde puedo tomar un taxi? ¿Dónde puedo tomar un taxi? If you need to find an exit anywhere, then you can just ask someone, ¿Dónde está la salida? ¿Dónde está la salida? Where is the exit? 
Okay guys, it's getting really dark now and I really am sorry for making this video so late. But if you enjoyed the information I presented in this video today, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family members that might be able to benefit from learning these new phrases. Um, if you have any other questions about how to say something in Spanish that you might need to know when at the airport, please write that down in the comments section and I will try my best to um, translate it for you or to let you know how to say that in Spanish. And if you guys would like a video on useful phrases you might need to know when leaving Peru and you know going through the process in the airport and stuff, please let me know so that I can try to see about making a video in the future in regards to that. Or if you guys would like um, special videos on what to say at customs when you're going through customs, maybe I can try to make a video on that. I will include in the description of this video links to some websites that have some other useful um, vocabulary and phrases um, and they're not all 100% correct but you can definitely check them out and try to use them the important thing is that you try to have an idea of what you want to say at least uh, you don't have to speak 100% correctly and um, yeah I want to give a special shout out to my cousin Fiorella who definitely helped me out with some of these phrases I just wanted to run them by her to make sure I was saying them okay and also to my friends Jessica and Tisa, who also gave me some ideas about questions that might uh, be important to tourists that you know they need to know when they come here. And I think that's it. So thank you so much once again for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. And I guess I will see you soon. Take care. Bye. The videos from now on are going to be pretty simple and there's a plane flying over my head. The disclaimer is that, um, you know, because I, oh crap, another airplane, um, there's an airplane flying over my head again, oh, it's like every minute. Okay, come on plane. You can say, podría ayudarme por favor, o, or. <laughs> Um, you can say baje. Okay. You can also say, God, all these firecrackers, stupid people. It's not a holiday. Uh, anyway, oh, I'm not blurry. Am I blurry? Oh, no. I don't think so. I hope not. Should I'm blurry. I'm screwed.